Hello everyone. If you are in the market looking for an electric motorcycle to buy, then in this video, we will be comparing three models that you could consider. Now we are not counting the Hop Electrics OXO model in this video, that will be another video separately. But in this video, we will talk about Kratos R, Revolt RV400 and Oban Roar. And we will be comparing them very quickly in about a dozen parameters so that you can decide which specification appeals to you the most. So the first and the most important parameter is of course the range. Now the Kratos R has a claimed range of around 180 kilometers but in real life it should give you around 120 kilometers. For RV400 although the claimed range is around 150 but users report of getting around 120 to 130 kilometers of real life range. For the open road, the company claims it has an ARAI certification of 200 kilometers of range, but the real range should be around 150 kilometers. Now, why is the difference? The difference is, of course, because of the battery size. Kratos R comes with a 4 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack. The RV400, being the oldest, has a 3.2 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack, and the open road comes with the largest battery pack out of all these three, which is 4.4 kilowatt hour. Now you would assume that the charging time would be proportional to the battery size but there is a surprise here. Now the Kratos R can be fully charged in 5 hours. The RV400 takes about 4.5 hours. Now the open Roar, although it has the largest battery pack out of these three, it still takes the least amount of time which is only 2 hours. Now the difference is because of the charger capacity which is 5 amperes for Kratos R. 5 amperes again for RV400 but in case of open Roar, it's a 15 ampere charger that the company bundles with the motorcycle. Now let's talk about top speed. Kratos R has a top speed of 105 km per hour. For the RV400, it's a mere 85 km per hour and the open road does 100 km per hour. Now the difference is again because of the motor capacity in, in all these cases. The Kratos R comes with a PMSM axial flux motor that delivers a power of 4.5 kW and a peak power of 9 kW. For the RV400, it's a mid-drive motor that delivers a constant power of 3 kW and a peak power of 5 kW. For the open roar, it's a bell driven mechanism that gives a nominal power of 4 kW and a peak power of 10 kW. Now the modes available are same in all these three cases, they just have different names for the same thing. However, the Kratos R comes with a reverse mode which is lacking in the other two. Now let's talk about acceleration that is a 0 to 40 km per hour dash. If you were to attempt that in a Kratos R, it would take you 3.5 seconds. In the RV400, you would require 4 seconds but in the open roar, a mere 3 seconds. Now let's talk about the curb weight. The Kratos R has a curb weight of 140 kg and it is the heaviest of the lot. The RV400 at 108 kg is the lightest and the open road sits in between with 130 kg of curb weight. The suspension setup for these three are also different. The Kratos R has a hydraulic telescopic suspension in the front and a hydraulic monoshock suspension in the rear. For the RV400, it has an upside down fork in the front and a monoshock adjustable suspension setup in the rear. For the open road, you have a telescopic fork in the front and a monoshock adjustable in the rear. The braking mechanism for all these three are same which is CBS and they come with disc brakes. Now let's tell you about the wheelbase which is the distance between the front wheel and the rear wheel. Mind you the larger the wheelbase, the more stable is the ride. So in this case Kratos R has a wheelbase of 1336 mm and then comes the RV400 with a 1350 mm and the Largest wheelbase is present in open road which is 1423 mm. The larger the wheelbase, the better the stability and the smaller the wheelbase, the more compact the motorcycle. Now about the seat height, the Kratos R has a seat height of 785 mm. The RV400 has the highest seat height which is 814 mm and the open road comes with a seat height of 780 mm. Now let's see whether that translates into a good ground clearance for these three. The ground clearance for Kratos R is 165 mm. The ground clearance for RV400 which at the highest seat height is also the highest and it is at 215 mm. For the open road it is 200 mm. Now these three motorcycles come with standard color options. For the Kratos R you have blue, white, red and black. For the RV400 it is black, grey and red and for the open road it is black, red and yellow. Now after the range let's talk about the second most important thing which is the price. Now the prices will of course vary depending on state to state and its subsidy but here we'll be taking the state of Maharashtra as a reference. For Kratos R the ex showroom price is 1,37,000. For RV400 it is 1,33,000 and for open road it's a mere 99,999 rupees. The battery warranty for Kratos R and open road it is same and it stands at 3 years. For RV400 though it is 6 years which is the highest in the electric two wheeler segment. 
do let us know your pick in the comment section and for more such videos do subscribe to this channel go green go electric